A couple of days ago, I wondered why some older tracks sound better to me, and the first reason that came up to my mind is the version of FL Studio the compositor used. In this video I will show you the main differences I noticed between FL Studio 12 and FL Studio 20, 21, and others. After running the FL 12 you are greeted with an older legendary interface. Some of the buttons are replaced or don't even exist. For example, the toggle pattern and song button looks different, and I also couldn't find the pattern picker that always existed in FL Studio 20 and higher. FL Studio 12 has an older method of release cutting, so when you decide to write some hats, you'll hear this. If you point your cursor at the add button, the plugin picker won't appear, but after moving your cursor here, you'll be able to add plugin. Interesting is that FL Studio 11 had louder projects. There is also a problem that doesn't allow us to use 32-bit only plugins in newer versions of the program, because the 32-bit version of FL Studio was discontinued with the release of version 20.9. Due to these changes, we lost a great generator plugin, Wasp. Wasp is a plugin that has mostly 8-bit sounds. But some of them still sound great. I also couldn't find a flex plug-in. In the piano roll, adjusting note parameters is less intuitive. You must double-click a note to modify its properties, as there's no direct way to select which parameter you want to edit. 